Welcome to Automate. My name is Marco Cruz. This is the fourth video in a series called Software Automation Fundamentals. Today we're going to learn about the CI-CD pipeline and what role automation plays in it. CI-CD is a combination of two phrases, where CI refers to continuous integration and CD refers to continuous deployment. Here is the official definition for continuous integration and here is the one for continuous deployment. You may also hear CD being referred to as continuous delivery. Continuous delivery refers to code that has been validated and making that code available for production release. And continuous deployment is the act of releasing that code to the end user. Here we have a depiction of the CI CD pipeline. As you can see, it consists of a series of phases. On the left, we have continuous integration, and on the right, we have continuous deployment. Continuous integration consists of four phases. We have the planning phase, in which we plan what is to be built, the code phase, in which that plan is developed, the build phase, in which the developed code is made available for testing. And then we have the test phase. It is in this phase in which automation plays a key role. The code is put through a series of automated tests meant to find out if there are any major issues with the code. If any issues are found, those will first need to be addressed. Otherwise, the process moves on to the release phase, in which the code is made available for UAT testing. UAT stands for User Acceptance Testing, and it involves the product owners checking to make sure that the requirements have been met. Then we have the deploy phase, in which the code is made available to the end user. This is followed by the operate phase, which consists of the use of orchestration to make the code available to the public. Lastly, we have the monitor phase, in which we make sure that the code continues to perform as expected, and that completes the general overview of the CI-CD pipeline.